Hey guys, it's Jonathan from Bullet Motorsports. I want to go over a couple facts here. We do not title Humvees, so don't call us and ask us how to do it. If you have a question in regards to Humvees, we get about 100 calls a day. So just send us an email, we'll get back to you within 24 hours. Uh, we have a two month lead time on basic builds, which is what we're going to walk around today. And then if you want to do a custom Humvee, change the color, do gloss, a lift, we have a one year wait right now. So we have three amazing trucks going on and we will show the documentation throughout the whole entire process if you follow our social media. On Instagram, it's bulletmotorsports.com. We've got uh, Facebook, which is Bullet Motorsports as well. And then YouTube is Bullet Motorsports, again, INC at the end. All right, so right behind me, we have a 1989 AM General Humvee. I love this truck because it has a Laverne brush guard and you see it, our marketing guy knows that it works really well because you can run cars into it and the car only gets damaged and the truck doesn't. Uh, this was completely touched up in cark paint. We replaced a ton of hardware. What's neat about this brush guard too is when you pop this hood open, it actually folds down. You don't need to pull pins. We've modified this truck with LED headlights and that's it. Everything else is uh, incandescent bulbs. It has 95% tread tires. These are 37 inch tires. The paint flows very well. We didn't use a spray paint, a spray can. We actually use a spray gun and use a, a spray booth. It's got a brand new top, brand new doors, brand new hardware throughout. The interior has been touched up as well with Rapco paint. And we replaced several gauges that were not operating. When you turn this car on to the run position when it's cold, the white light will work as it should. And then when it's warm, it, it turns on without, that, without the use of the white light, which is turning on your glow plugs. We've got brand new interior. Uh, seat pads throughout the vehicle, all new hardware and brand new seat belts. I'm going to open up the rear and leave that door open so you can get some light in here. We decided to take the wood out and then replace it with brand new fresh wood. We painted that in the cart green as well and we left all the insulation in there so your, your legs aren't going to burn if you're driving this thing on the highway. Uh, as you walk around you're going to notice the suspension has been touched up in flat black. The body itself is very nice, minor imperfections but overall it's a straight body. We've added the signature LED tag light bracket, and then we've added a, a tag mount here, which does not, it's not self tappers. They're actually threaded into the body. So you can pull that out and reuse it multiple times. Uh, interior has been painted in the, in, the, in the bed, and there's no major dents inside of here, which is nice. As we walk around this side, the only imperfection I could show you would be this corner, which we've tried to smooth out as best as we could. It looks like someone got crazy going off road. Interior again, I'm leaving all the doors open so you get as much light as possible. Extremely nice. I'm going to go ahead and pop this hood portion open and then we're going to talk about what we do to this motor and transmission and drivetrain. On this tr specific truck, we replaced the pitman arm, tie rod end, and then we rebuilt a portal axle and replaced a CV joint. We've also serviced all the fluids and filters. This truck, this specific truck was rebuilt by the main maintenance center in 2002. So it was in pretty good shape. We did a thermostat, uh, <coughs> a thermostat because it was opening too late and it was getting warm. Uh, we serviced the glow plugs. We put a cast car grounding kit on here. We ensured that the cooling system was working so the hydraulics would work. We did brand new oil, brand new transmission pan and gasket. All new filters throughout the transfer case and all the drive line. This truck runs and drives excellent. We've also replaced the windshield wiper reservoir and we've made sure that every single thing in this truck works. So when you're buying a truck from Bullet Motorsports, look at our reviews. You're gonna see that you're buying something that you don't have to do anything to. Let's go for a ride. Look at the Laverne go down. How awesome is that? It's not heavy either. So right now we're inside the M998. I wanna go over some of the features and then we're gonna go for the test drive. We'll go a little off-roading too. So you can see that the transfer case works as it should. You've got yourself your main maintenance center sticker here along with a placard that's right below your serial number on your, on your driver's side door. Right now I'm gonna fire her up. You're gonna see that the alternator is charging. It just, it, once you give it some gas, it will go into the charging mode. Uh, temperature right now is low because we have not driven it. Oil pressure is showing 50 pounds and your fuel gauge is showing the correct uh, gas, uh, gas level because we had to replace it. Uh, showing mileage is 18,000 miles, but don't ever believe that because they replace these gauges all the time on the trucks. I don't know what the mileage is on them. The title will state that, but that could, it could be 20,000, 30,000 miles, you never know. Uh, as we go for a ride, I want you to see that the windshield wipers do operate and they are new. 
uh, sprayer works too. Blower motor works. So if you want to get some fresh air in here, you just don't turn on your heat and you can get some air flowing through. What I'll do is uh, once we get on Ravenswood Road, which is our test track here, we'll give it some gas. Steering actually feels really good, so it's responsive because we replaced a lot of components here. I think we even did the lower ball joints on this truck. A lot of room. I can't even touch you. So right now I'm gonna give it some gas. Let's get it up to a running speed. It's nice and smooth. You can let go of the steering wheel, no problems at all. It tracks straight, it's not bouncing. Right now we're going 45 miles an hour. I feel comfortable at that speed. We can go faster if you need to. We're going 50 now. Feels really good. It's screaming right now. Remember, the top speed of this is 55, 60 miles an hour, and you don't want to be doing that constant. So what we're going to do is we're going to get to the end of this, we'll turn around, and then we're going to get to a set of rocks, and we're going to climb up them, and I'm going to show you that the transfer case and the differentials are working as they should, and then hopefully you can make a decision, give us a call, and buy this thing. I think this is going to last five days maximum. Give us a call at 954-363-2261, and we'll be able to assist you with this Humvee or another Humvee for the future. All right, so we're at the tire popping location. This is where I drove the truck that we put 39 and a half inch IROCs on and ran over a railroad tie and popped a tire that had less than five miles on it. We're gonna test out this specific truck. We're gonna put it in the low position. In, in that truck that we did, we didn't have to do that because it had lockers. Right now, I'm gonna put it into neutral. I'm gonna shift on, uh, straight to low. There's no grinding. Shift in, back into drive and I can feel that there's a lot of torque going on. I'm still gonna manipulate the throttle because we do have a dip here. Uh, once we get to the point where I feel like there's no traction, that's when I'm going to give it a little bit of brake and it'll pull it right up. We're gonna go slow because we've got a decline right here. Just letting the truck do its own work. A little bit of throttle right now. We're going up it. And even brake pressure. And we're off. Remember to put it into neutral. Shift it back into high. Go get yourself a Cerveza. If you have any questions, give us a call, 954-363-2261. Woo!